Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about analog multiplier using an emitter coupled transistor pair. What is the meaning of analog multiplier? Analog multiplier means the output voltage is directly proportional to output voltage is directly proportional to product of two input voltage. So here we are using an emitter coupled transistor pair. Emitter coupled transistor pair means the emitter are coupled together. So if see the diagram, this is the differential amplifier. So this Q1 and Q2 transistor is from differential amplifier. The emitters are coupled together and we are giving the biasing current to the circuit. Right. So here this multiplier circuit provides the output at two quadrant only. What is the meaning of two quadrant? So two quadrant mode means one input voltage held at positive direction, positive side only. Other inputs swing positive and negative direction. So that means two quadrant mode. Okay. So here if you see the diagram, the collector current IC1 and IC2 are related to the differential input voltage V1. Okay, this IC1 and IC2 is related to the voltage V1, input voltage V1. So, from this diagram, we are going to write the value of IE. So, what is the IE? IE is the total current of this emitter current 1 and emitter current 2 then IE is equal to IE1 plus IE2. Let us write the IE1 value and IE2 value. So from figure, so we can say that is collector current is approximately equal to emitter current. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the general expression of collector current? That is IC is equal to IS into E power VBE divided by VT, eta VT minus 1. This is the general expression. Here IS is the Saturation current, Vt is the volt in temperature. Here we are going to give eta value is equal to 1. Okay. So, Ie equal to Ic, approximately equal to Ie. So, Ic, here we are going to substitute, this is Ic. We have two current, that is Ie1 and Ie2. This equation we are going to write for Ie1 and Ie2. So, from figure, Ie is equal to Ie1 plus Ie2. Then IE1 is equal to this value. Here eta, we are going to substitute is eta is equal to 1. Then we will get here we are writing this is IE1. So we have to write this is VBE1. Okay. So this is for IE1 current. So similarly we can write for IE2. This is for IE2. Okay. Next we are writing the input voltage value V1. From figure what is V1? V1 is equal to VBE1 minus VBE2. So this is the differential voltage or if you are uh, giving the applying KVL at this loop we will get V1 is equal to VBE1 minus VBE2. So for, for, this is the first equation. Now we are going to divided by IE1 and uh, both side and also we are going to divided by IE2 from this equation. Okay. So first we are going to equation number 1 by IE divided by IE1. That is IE is equal to IE divided by IE1 equal to IE1 plus IE2 divided by IE1. So this is cancel. Then we will get 1 plus IE2 divided by IE1. From this IE2 and IE1 we are going to substitute equation number 2 and 3. Here IS, IS get cancelled. So if you are going, taking this E power value to the numerator, we will get E power VBE2 minus VBE1 divided by VT. What is VBE2 minus VBE1? So V1 is equal to VBE1 minus VBE2. If you are taking the minus common out, then we will get VBE2 minus VBE1. That is minus of my VBE1 minus v sorry vbe2 minus vbe1 so that is minus v1 okay so here we are substituting this is minus v1 divided by v2 <coughs> vt from this we are going to find ie1 next we are going to calculate ie2 value for that we are going to uh, divide by ie2 on both side so ie2 ie2 then we are going to substitute this ie1 and ie2 value then again 
same sim simplification we will get like this that is ie2 is equal to iee divided by e power v1 divided by vt plus 1 now we are going to substitute this ie1 value and ie2 value in iee that is collector current collector current del ic is equal to what is the variation of the collector current del ic is equal to ic1 minus ic2 what is ic1 that is approximately equal to ie1 ic2 means that is approximately equal to ic2 okay now substitute this two value so here ie is the common term so we are taking common so 1 divided by we will get 1 plus e power minus this value minus this value so here there is one formula that is 1 divided by 1 plus e power minus theta minus 1 divided by 1 plus e power theta means that value is turn h theta by 2. Here what is the theta value? Theta is v1 by vt. So here we are going to write del ic is equal to ie into tan h into v1 by vt that is the theta value divided by 2. So v1 by 2 vt. When the differential input v1 is less than vt that time the turn h x value is equal to that is turn h theta means that value is theta when the differential input value voltage is v1 is less than vt so here del i is equal to iee into theta theta what is theta value v1 divided by 2 vt so we are going to draw the transfer characteristics for this del i c means we will get like this okay so the current IEE, so this current IEE that is the bias current for the emitter coupled pair. So here if the current IEE is proportional to the second input voltage V2. If you see this circuit diagram, we are not giving any input voltage to this biasing current, right? Now we are going to give the second input voltage to the bias terminal. So that is that emitter current will be ie is equal to k0 into v2 minus vbe into on now we are going to substitute this equation to the del ic value okay we are going to substitute this value then we will get del ic is equal to k0 into v1 into v2 minus vbe divided into on divided by 2 vt if you are seeing this output current is directly proportional to the product of two input voltage only so now we are going to draw the circuit diagram for this equation for this arrangement okay so this is the symbol modular type multiplier circuit so this is the differential amplifier circuit so here we are replacing that iee by this equation so that is circuit will be like this only so here this V1 voltage, so this circuit acts as the multiplier circuit. This V1 voltage is less than, always be less than 50 millivolt. Then V2 is very very greater than Vt, Vbe. Okay, then some limitations for the emitter coupled pair. That is first one is V2 is offset by Vbe on then V2 must be positive. This is the two quadrant multiplier. So here V2 voltage must be positive. One voltage will be uh, swing positive and negative direction. The, that is the maybe V1 voltage. Okay, but V2 voltage must be positive. So this is the disadvantage of this emitter coupled pair. Then this tan hx is approximated as x. That means the input voltage V1 is very very less than Vt. For that we are taking that tan hx is x. So this is also disadvantage of this circuit. So these limitations are overcome by using the Gilbert circuit. Gilbert cell circuit. Okay. So next video we will see the Gilbert cell multiplier circuit. Thank you.